with Steve Phillips and John Krug. Major League Baseball and 2K Sports. And here's a look at the starting pitcher for Milwaukee. Steve will be watching how he approaches this Angels lineup. There are times where this lineup can be a challenge for pitchers. With the quality stuff this right-hander has, though, if he's on top of his game today, he should be able to get the job done for his manager. Now we'll take a look at the Angels' offense. Okay, this is what I call a circular lineup. Stars really throughout the lineup are all the same. They hit for average, hit for power, drive in runs, really star-studded throughout. What are you now, doing? Here's the batter now. He's leading off the game. Left fielder, number five. And here's the delivery. And this is bounced foul to the left side. Here's the delivery. And that's another foul ball. Big swing and a miss and a heater. Strike him out one down. Two strikes, you have to try to fight off this pitch. You have to think away and adjust it in. They went away, but he couldn't make contact. Got a chance to check out the Brewers. Let's look at their defense. Uh, the team has struggled defensively. If you take a look at the number of errors that they've made, last in the division overall. So it's been a major problem in comparison to the teams they're competing against most closely. On the ground to third. He dives and he's up with it. And he's out at first. What an out. You knew we were going to say we're punch corner on this place. Right? <laughs> There's no question about it. You've got to be scared sometimes down there with the way the ball gets on you. Great reactions, and then the accurate throw from his knees. It's going to be Jackson now. Ball in there, 0 and 1. But Gary, now that he's ahead in the count, it's probably a good time to go to the changeup. On the way. 0 1 is a slider. First ball strike. For a backdoor breaking ball right there. They set up away and executed the pitch perfectly. Also oh. getting to golf at that one, but he lays off and uh, 1 2 count. Ball strike three called side is retired. Not a lot of action in this half inning, nothing on. So the first chance for the Brewers, they're coming right up. For the Milwaukee Let's take a look at Anaheim's starter. Number this team, the uh, Milwaukee hitters, what you think of them? A good looking lefty on the mound right here against the lineup that could put towards the middle. We've got a moment to take a look at the lineup for the Brewers. This is the team that can score some runs during the course of the game and, and really support their pitching staff. Uh, they're not going to outslug you and, and stand toe to toe with some of the best offenses around, but they will score against some of the better pitchers. Here's how the Angels stack up on the diamond. As we take a look at this defense, it's the second highest ranked defense in the American League. And that shows the consistency of play and how much pressure they take off the pitching staff. Strike one. Starts him up with a change up for a strike. Here's the pitch. There's a swing. Fly ball down the line and left. One away now. Now he shifted the outfielder to the left. He hit it to the left. And he's out. Here's Cooper to the plate. Cooper. Pitch. Hot shot towards the hole. Now 
That's a good piece of hitting right there. The hitter stays back, reads the change in velocity off the fastball, doesn't try to do too much, and picks himself up a single. Simmons batting now. If you look back to last season that the Angels had, the story was what happened in September. They seemed like they were out of the race, but they wound up charging late, nearly making the postseason. Oh, both runners on the move. Right one. Oh, and they succeed on it. That's a double steal. Nice play. They had a great jump right there. Great acceleration. They couldn't get him with the throw. That's a great secondary lead that allowed him to get in easily. Oh. A sinker misses. One and one. That Angels uh, season last year, Steve, September 1, nine games out, then entering the season's final two weeks, only two games out. Well, they got so close, but what was disappointing, they lost six of their last seven. They got cold at the wrong time. They were on the outside looking in with Tampa past the Red Sox. Now the 2-1. A line drive towards the hole. One. But he'll hang on to that, so they will get one. Milwaukee Brewers. Left fielder. Number 24. And the left fielder in. Here it comes. Oh, not in front on that one. Strike one. You know, as a hitter right here, you have to be aware that you might get a fastball with that 0-1 count. It's typically where he goes. He delivers. Slider right locked him up. He's behind 0-2. Well, he has great rotation on his breaking ball right here, and he hits the perfect spot. The hitter just gave up on it. And the sinker swung on and missed. Side retired. They get two men in scoring position. Couple of hits. Can't get them home, though. And we'll see the Angels. A lot of guys like this muted lighting. Uh, you see the baseball maybe a little bit better. You don't have the shadows out there. That's when you get in trouble at the plate. Lynn at the plate. He'll start us out here in the second. And leading off the second inning, we've got a 1-0 count. One zero on the way. There's a swing and a drive deep right field, and it's going to be more as he retreats back for it and gets the out. This is why he swings the outfielders around to right field. That's where his strength is. That's where he hits it. That's where he did hit it. It's an out. Baylor in the box. Well, guys, such a special season last year for the Brewers. A franchise record for wins. Their first division crown in 29 years. A trip to the NLCS. A special year in so many ways. Pitch on the way. Swung and a ground ball to third. And a good throw gets him. Two down. Talking about that Brew Crew season 2011, the way it went for them, you couldn't help but feel that a terrific era in Milwaukee may be underway, John. Absolutely. They did a great job of putting that team together. They have for power, for average. They've got some speed. Their starting pitching was fantastic. It wouldn't have been any surprise at all to see them represent the National League in the World Series. Back up the middle. Base hit. Gets it down. That's our first hit of the game for these guys. Coming to bat. Well, the last thing you want to do is have a quick inning. That two-out hit right there will prolong the inning. Great piece of hitting. It's going to be Gritch. him out with a fastball for a strike. Well, purpose pitch right there. He gets the strike on it, goes up and in, and it opens up the entire strike zone now. Swings and grounds this one to the right side. Foul. That one goes foul. And 
Randy lays off that one outside. One and two. Changeup swung on and missed. That will retire the side. No runs on a hit, and they'll strand him. The Angels still hoping to put something up. And welcome to those of you just tuning in. 2K Sports, Major League Baseball. This is Gary Thorne along with Steve Phillips and John Crook. It's going to be Thomas. He's going to start the second for the home team. Slider swung on and missed. 0 and 1. Well, a great pitch right there. Threw in that slider to hit her just out in front of it. Swung early. Came up empty. The pitch. Sinker. One ball, one strike. Here's the pitch. It's fouled away. Oh! Boy, he scorched that one. That was right over the mound. In time for the other Rocky Brewer. Number 13, Roy Howell. And it's Howell batting. a swing line drive center field that one gets through for a base hit and well, he stayed behind the ball right there real well got himself that one out base hit in the batter's box it's more well what types of pitches have been put in play here today there's a quick breakdown of exactly that but checking out this guy's changeup, it's been hit twice already. And that pitch is the only pitch that anybody has hit here. But hey, we're only in the second inning, so he's going to need to be at least aware that this lineup may be keying in on something, or he might be tipping that pitch. That swung on on a liner here. Tremendous situation now for Milwaukee. You know, most of the time, the pitch on the outside part of the plate is a very good pitch, but not to this hitter. He loves to get those long arms extended, and he drove that one. One out with runners at first and second. Sinker just missed one and over. Wow, he had some good bite on that one right there, but the hitter wouldn't chase it. At the belt, the 1 0. 1 0 pitch. A changeup stays outside, 2 0. Smashes that one towards the shortstop. That looks like a single. in the box. He's singled and he has lashed it back. And here's the first one. A swing line to left center. And that one is in there. His second hit today. And Moore's in. He loved the approach right there. He didn't try to do too much. Wasn't trying to be the hero. Just get that RBI and get that first run on the board. And here's Robin Young. What we're seeing here is just a great push. He's been able to jump out in front here in this ball game. He left to get the other team down early. I like we just saw some important production right there, guys. To get on the board at this stage of the game gives them a real chance of build confidence in the win. Here we go. Here's the first pitch. Swing and lined up the middle. And that'll get him aboard there on a roll. And he scores. 
Now you see the pitch. Got him in the zone a little bit, but he got a good piece of wood on it. Drive. What you like about this at bat is the discipline to keep the head in. Well, I'll tell you what. He changed locations, went down in the zone. It's a solid piece of hitting. Here's Cooper to the plate. And the offense here is putting on the show. Right now, they're in charge of this ball game. Runners at first and third with two away. And the first pitch. Here's a swing of all hit high in the air. Way, way back there. That is gone. Goodbye home run to Waukee. And are they pouring it on? Gives his team a five-run lead now with a big three-run knock. offense continuing to roll getting things done Gary first pitch to him that's inside for a ball one and oh now we talk about a game of production Steve uh, the home run the runs they are piling up in this game and so early and that's why they really need to get this offense shut down now or this game could get out of control. 1-0 pitch, change up in there, 1-1. One one. But Gary, awfully tough to read this pitch out of his hand. He has great deception, makes it look like a fastball. It just comes out so much slower. Swing and a line into right center. And again, this lineup right now on fire. And with that right-hander warming up in the bullpen here, I'm not sure quite what they're thinking. Well, with the left-handed hitter on deck, he's probably getting ready for hitters later in the lineup. Up again now, the number five spot. Struck out swinging last time. Here's the delivery. Slider just misses. 1-0. When you throw a breaking ball like this, you want to start it on the corner and break it off the zone, trying to get the hitter to chase. The hitter didn't take the bait here. A shot up the middle. That's a great situation for some offense. Well, they need a big out right here, Jeremy, to give it up some runs in this inning. They need to get outs right now just, again, to show that they can get them. It's going to be Thomas. 0 for 1 thus far. Two men on and two men out. First pitch on the way. And it's fouled off. This one's pretty well hit to deep left center. And that's out number three. Striking early, big inning. Milwaukee is in front, five to nothing. Wait for the Los Angeles Angels. stop up. The pitch. Strike he swings one. on that 0-0 delivery, misses the fastball. Strike one. The best pitch in baseball is the fastball down and away. And if you can execute it, you can be very effective. That's why he got the swing and the miss. Runs up to Bunt, gets this one down. Simmons. Over to first for out number one. Got him in time, first base out. Well, let's see it again. Does the ball beat him to the bag? It sure does. Good call. It's going to be Boone. 
two for eight lifetime batter against the Brewers. Line shot into center field. That should be a base hit. At the a good piece of hitting right there with one out. Now let's see what they can do with him now that they've got a man on first. On the way. Hit hard to second. Oh, this is great patience at the plate. He let the ball get deep in on the plate, comes in toward his hands, keeps his hands inside the ball, and drives it the other way. You make yourself a whole different ball player if you can take the ball the other way as he just did. Garou in the batter's box, grounded out his last time through. Runners on first and second with one out. Oh, that runs inside. That got it. The ball just sailed away from him, couldn't control it, now lows the base. 44. Reggie Jackson. And it's Reggie Jackson at the plate. You know, Steve, you imagine that big fly ball any time. You get the bases loaded here, you got to take advantage. Well, they'll take anything they can get right now. It's still early in the game. They just need to try to keep it close. Here's the first pitch. Hit up the middle. The second for one, and he has single home run here. Well, that's one of those pitches right there, way off the plate, outside, that if you swing and miss at it, you look very foolish. How he got his bat on it, I have no idea. Great bat control, great base hit. Lynn at the plate. You know, they still need a lot of offense. They're getting some. What they wanted was this a little earlier in this ballgame. Gary, it's still early on in this game, so what they're doing is exactly what they should be. Chip away at the lead. Get a little bit of the time. Work yourself back into the game. Well, that's uh, what you want to do when you've got the 27 outs to work with, and as long as you're not giving those up, you're in the ball. Hey. Here's the pitch. Swing liner back up the middle. That's down. The run's coming in. At the plate. Uh, oh, one mistake right here. He throws it over the heart of the plate. He pays for it. Sean Baylor. Baylor in the box now. Offensively, the opportunity to pull it a little bit closer. And right now, that offense looks as though he's got the ability to do that. pitch on the way. Well, that finds the outside corner for strike one. They're going to like their approach here right now. I mean, they know they just need to get base runners. When you get base runners, you give yourself opportunities to score. You can do it. And they picked up a couple runs just by doing that. The pitch. Swung on line to right center field. And that gets the tying run on board. And Jackson crosses the plate. A little warm-up action going in the bullpen. That's a right-hander up in front. Well, they're going to wait for the right-handed hitter on deck to get a now, so then they'll probably make the move to the pen. Anaheim there continuing. The bats are hot. Just kind of lean in, Steve, and slap that thing the other way on that kind of pitch. Well, you can't pull that pitch. If you do, it's going to be a ground ball to short. You want to punch it to right field. He's one of the best at doing it. Two men on, two men out. Hit in the air, in right, foul territory. And there's more for out number three. They pick up four hits in the inning and three runs across the plate. 
Angels doing a nice job as they start to work their way back. Trying to stay in the shade? Well, that's what you got to do on afternoons like this where you have to put that sunscreen on. Baseball weather day. And a towel batting. He's one for one so far. And it's going to be Joel Carino on the mound. They've decided it's time to bring a new arm into this one. Now the 1-0 pitch. I think he lost the feel on that slider, and it's 2-0. A pitch like that just locks the hitter up when it's in on the hand. The 2-0 pitch. And that one misses outside. Ball three. Well, this is awful right here. He's falling behind this hitter 3-0. Let's see if he can come back to get him. Here's the pitch. Taking all the way. It's in there for a strike. Three and one. But he's got to come back with something right here. Doesn't want to put him on base. Three one on the way. He sends this one in the air towards center. One away. Number twenty-two. In the batter's box, it's Moore. Single and scored his last time around. Here's the first one. Swings and misses the slider. 0 and 1. Well, right there, you can just tell that the hitter was absolutely fooled on that pitch. Nothing you can do. You try to reach out and just put it in play, but he swung through it. Oh, and he lays off the fastball. Good pitch. 1 and 1. The 1 1. Hit up the middle. Rich. In time for the Milwaukee Brewers. Oh, it's a nice play right there. Great effort by the second baseman to get over, make the play, and a nice accurate throw to first. Number nine spot at the plate again. Bounced into a fielder's choice as last time. Here's the first pitch. Oh, Fastball uh, taken high. 1-0. Oh. Why well, that pitch right there just seemed to get away from the pitch or took off on him. Looked like he tried to overthrow that a little bit. And he looks at a slider that's in there. 1-1. One one. The 1-1 one, one pitch. Can't make contact on that fastball. One and two. You're fastball out. swung out and missed. And the side's retired. And nothing across here in this half of the inning. Milwaukee five. Angels three. It's going to be Gritch. He'll dig in. Start of the fourth inning. And the first pitch. Swung on and popped way up high. That one's taken care of. There's shortstop in the box. 0 for 1 thus far. Deals. Here's a fly ball to straightaway left. Now two away. As a hitter, you see the outfielder swung around to right field. And you have to think to yourself, if I can only hit it to left. He got it there, but it didn't quite fall in. It's going to be Boone. Let's take a look here at how he's been mixing up his pitches so far in this game. 
Well, and that's the one area where he has struggled in this one. The fact that he's just throwing the same pitch in the same location over and over again, a recipe for disaster. I mean, listen, I mean, you have to be able to hit your spots, but you can't be this predictable. They know what's coming every time, and they're just jumping out of their shoes. Ball. Screwball just misses, 1-0. You don't like to throw too many pitches up in the zone there. That screwball, he got away with it there, but he's playing with fire if he keeps throwing it up there. Here's the 1-0. 1-0 is a fastball that runs away to an 0. Misses low, ball three. Black fastball right there, just missed, just below the knees. Tell you what, a borderline pitch. I think they wanted that one bad. Right Not one. looking at a fastball, three and one now. Even on a 3-0 count, you don't want to make it that bad a pitch when you throw it to the plate. He better not throw it again, 3-1. The pitch. It's fouled off. Foul ball! Swung on, grounded towards the hole. And he throws on to first. That'll retire the side. Nothing doing here in this half inning. The Brewers still out in front. And Molitor's in the box. Singled home a run in his last at bat. Here's the first pick. Hit in the air to center field. And that's number one. Milwaukee Brewers. Shortstop. Number 19. Robin Young. And here's Robin Young. Drove in a run earlier in the game. And here's the first one. Is the outside pitch from Sanchez for a ball. Well, he tried to go outside on the outside corner with that fastball right there. Just got a little bit off the plate. He's got to be careful, though. You don't hit up the middle. Good baseball and a good job. Let's take a look. Uh, you know, we talk about team in baseball, and that's where you see it a lot of times on defense. Here's Cooper to the plate. He homered back in inning number two. Starts him out here. Swung on, lined over the first baseman's head. And he gets it down. That's his third hit, three for three. Well, he's having a heck of a day so far. His third hit of the game in this one. They just can't seem to find an answer for him. Simmons up now. One for two in the ballgame. Second. No runs, one hit, and no one left on base. And we'll see the end. Downing is batting. Had a base hit his last time up. And he starts him out. Ball. Curveball just misses. One and oh. 
going to take a brief moment here to check out the breakdown on this pitcher's pitch types that have turned into hits today. John, Steve, your thoughts? Guys, his curve has been hit two times. Well, listen, that's hit sharply towards the hole. And his throw gets him. All right. Carew settles in. Hit by a pitch his last time up. He wants to get some hacks in here. Here it comes. Hit in the air to left center. That gets down. That'll put him on the tying Seven run up. up a one out and a man on first base. That big single right there gives him a couple out to work with to see if they can push him across the board. And it's Reggie Jackson at the plate. Here's the delivery. Strike Sliders ball. in there. No ball to the strike. That's an outstanding breaking ball for a strike on the inside part of the plate. It locked the hitter up. He just froze and couldn't swing at it. There's a swing and a smash. That's two gone. And he'll have to hold it first. Good pitch right there. Got the hitter a little bit out on his front foot. Easy fly ball to center field. Lynn at the plate. Had an RBI single his last time to the plate. Runner on first, two away. Now the first pitch. Strike one. First pitch, and he misses the fastball, strike one. Well, you can tell his timing way off after seeing him swing at that four-seamer. There's a swing, line drive, center field. And that is in there. The tying run is on base. Boy, they've opened the door. Can Anaheim go through it? Well, in order to hit that pitch right there, he had to get full extension. I mean, that's a long reach for this guy. You know, and the pitcher has to be shaking his head, wondering how much further outside do I have to go to get him to chase? Baylor at the plate. Drove in a run earlier in the game. Here's the first pitch. He sends this one in the air towards center. And Thomas is going to play it. And that's going to do it in this half inning. And so out of the inning, only eight pitches thrown. That's pretty efficient. Brewers still enjoying this lead. And if you just joined us, our broadcast of Major League Baseball on 2K Sports with John Kruk and Steve Phillips, I'm Gary Thorne. Simmons gets a shot here. Ball. He'll lead off for the home team here in the home half of the fifth. And the bottom half of the fifth now. One ball count. Well, he's one of those pitchers that doesn't like to fall behind. And when he does, he wants to come right back in with that fastball. So you got to be ready for it. Swing and a line at a right center. And it gets down. That's hit number two, making good contact. Good piece of hitting right there. Anytime you get your first hitter of the inning on base, it could set up the potential for a big inning. In the box again, their left fielder. One for two in the ballgame. Sanchez gets set and delivered. Slider swung on a miss. 0 and 1. Well, he got that slider and he thought that's where he wanted it. And he took a mighty rip at it, but he came up empty. Now a swing. That ball is hit well. Deep going back. That one is caught. He climbed the wall. What a great catch. 
Well, this is where you have to just tip your cap. I mean, you think you've got a home run, and instead, they leap up in the air, catch it, and it's an hour 20. Unbelievable. Just watch the extension he has getting that glove up to make this play. Well, take a look at this one. It's going to be a home run. It's over the wall, but he times his leap perfectly. And with that big glove, he's able to bring it back in. Outstanding play. It's going to be Thomas. He flew out his last time up. One down, runner at first. Here we go. Here's the first pitch. On the ground to third. And there's one. And a double play. They got a move. So no runs on one hit. And nobody left off. Milwaukee five. The Angels three. In the box, their third baseman. He's ready to start out here in the sixth inning. First pitch on the way. Ground ball towards second. Number 17. And he'll take it himself. Puts the tag on for the out. It's going to be Grinch. He popped out his last time. He delivers. Swung on. That's going to be hit foul. Long fly ball wow. left side. Strike two. Gets the fastball by him that time, and he's in control now, 0-2. Well, that pitch right there, he just blew it right by the hitter. Swung late. Line drive. That's foul towards foul first. Ball. Can't get him to chase the fastball. Low. What a two. Oh, it's a great fastball right there. Down in the strike zone. Now there's so many ways to go. Let's see how he comes back to attack this hitter. Here's a swing and a fly ball to right center. And it is in there. That's going to bring the tying run to the plate. Now this pitch just cuts right over the heart of the plate. The hitter can't. Mm -hmm. That's one of those where you've uh, you've given in by making a bad pitch and, and really made it much easier for the hitter. Yeah, he's better than that. Bear down. And the number eight spot rolls around. Flew out last time. Here's the pitch. Here's a swing and a liner to left center. And that gets the tying run on board. Fantastic chance here. Oh, chest game going on out there. The ship with the defense to the right. He says, fine, I'm going to hit it to the left. He found the hole. It's going to be Boone. One for two on the ball game. with runners at first and second. Swing and lined up the middle. Gets down. The go-ahead runs on base. Now batting. A well, real Angeles pressure Angeles mounting Angeles right Angeles. now. That base hit low. Down the base is. He's going to have to make a pitch to try to get out of this mess. Downing. Batting now. Steve, you're going to like the odds right here. You get that base hit, and all of a sudden, this game changes. Now, if he hits one over the ball, too, it completely changes the complexion of this game. They've had to battle back. Here's a chance to get the lead. And the first pitch. Ball! And that runs high, 1-0. Line drive left of the bag and foul. Oh. Fastball gets away from him there, two and one. Well, you saw the catcher right there setting up inside, and the pitcher just missed off the plate. Still a pretty good pitch, though. 
Two one pitch, a fastball outside. Three and one. Well, even though you're three and one in the count, you still have to be patient at the plate. Make him throw a quality pitch. If he does, be ready for it. And if you're the pitch, hit in the air to center field. And Thomas is going to play it. Didn't have a problem getting over there in time. And they've got the lead in this ball game, and now they'll get two right-handers up in the pen. Well, I want to see if they can protect this lead here. You don't ask the bullpen to win the game, but they have to hold the lead in this situation. Carew up now. He had a single in his last time up. First pitch to him. There's a swing, a high bouncer towards the hole. He'll throw on to first, and that'll do it for this happening. They pick up three hits in the inning. They leave the sacks full. The Brewers enjoying this lead. Batting for the Milwaukee Brewers. And it's Howell batting. He'll lead it off. Boom half. We're in the sixth. Boy, Howell. The first pitch. Great one. And Sanchez has him mowing one with that called strike. Well, that's a great pitch when you get it to break low in the zone like that with that kind of movement. Awfully tough on the hitter. Ball. Last ball misses low that time. One and one. Hot shot towards the hole. He's out of first base. Nice play in the corner. Uh, that's a well-executed play right there. Gary Hasselbover got the first base. That's the bag. Thought he might have had a strike out there. He's involved in the out anyway. In the batter's box, it's more. Ground out victim last time through. Now the first pitch. Swung on. That is hit. Rich. In time for the up for the Milwaukee Brewers. Second base, number 17. Up now, their second base. 0 for 2 thus far. Sanchez gets set and delivered. Line shot into center field. And it's through. That's a base hit. Well, you gotta love to see this guy get on base with two outs right here with that base hit. Now it's up to his teammates to figure out a way to get him across the plate. And Molitor's in the box. Last time up, flew out. Here's the first one. Strike one. And Sanchez has him mowing one with that called strike. He has great bite on this slider, throwing it down and into the hitter. Gets away with one, and he gets in for the strike. Ball Outside ball. for a ball, one and one. When you throw a breaking ball like this, you want to start it on the corner and break it off the zone, trying to get the hitter to chase. The hitter didn't take the bait here. Fantastic chance here. But a big two out hit right there. That's his third hit of the game so far. This man's doing what he has to do to help his team win. Now we're going to see Yount now. Drove in a run earlier in the game. Two down. Runners at first and second. Sanchez gets. There's a swing. A ball hit high and deep. Straight away left field. Gone. That's good for three. Gives his team a five-run lead now with a big three-run knock. Brewers offense continuing to roll, getting things done, Gary. Pitch 
pitch on the way. Swings, lines this one back up the middle. Throws to first in time. That's three down. Well, I think there's an issue of how much is left in his tank right here, so that bullpen's going to get active. You know, still early in the game, though, so I'd be surprised if they make this move this early. They may just get him prepared in case they need to go there. So they strike for three more runs here and widen that lead even further. Milwaukee up five. Things will start getting difficult with the third man in the order lurking ahead. Now up to the plate. And it's Reggie Jackson at the plate. Drove in a run earlier in the Number game. 44, Reggie Jackson. Pitch on the way. Swing and a miss on that curveball. It's on one. Look at this big lead here in the seventh inning. It's incumbent upon the pitcher to throw strikes. Get outs right now. There's a swing and a ground ball. You're out. One down. Lynn at the plate. Two for three thus far. Here's the first one. Ball. First pitch is a curveball outside, 1-0. Oh. Okay, one out here in the seventh inning. I mean, you have to like the way this is going. They're looking good. The pitcher's throwing strikes. The defense making plays. They've got a big lead. Everything feels good. The 1-0 oh now. Swung on line to right center field. And it gets down a three-for-four game. Good hitting now, job. Up to the plate. Well, the guy that just continues to swing the bat well in this ball game. Three hits right now so far. And it comes with one out in the inning. Can it start a rally? Baylor in the batter's box. Well, if you can get a start like this every time out from your starting pitcher, you're going to take it. He kept you in the ball game, pitched pretty well, and now swung and a ground ball to third. There's one and two. A double play. No runs, one hit, and no one left on base. Milwaukee, eight. The Angels, three. Now up to the plate. Simmons the in the box now. He'll start the home Number half 23. of the summer. Here we go. Here's the first pitch. Swings and misses the slider. 0-1. Oh well, you know in this situation right here that the hitter's always going to look for a fastball. The pitcher was smart, though. He threw in that slider. Got the hitter out in front to swing early. No balls, one strike. Sanchez. And he got good wood up the middle. And uh, pulls in the first with a single. He's on with nobody out. Number 24. About a guy who's swinging it right now as good as anybody. That's his third hit of the ball game thus far. Let's see if this can mount a rally with nobody out. Starts him out. Swung on, line to right field. Oh, and Jackson makes a beautiful catch. Now up to the plate. And he'll lay himself up, and he comes away with it. Well, the key isn't to catch it, man. The key is first step. He got a great jump on it, and that's what allowed him to run it down. It's going to be Thomas. We'll get another shot after hitting into that double play last time up. One out man on first. And starts him out here. Oh, wow. And Sanchez doesn't get that one in. 
Well, if there's ever been a time they needed a ground ball double play, it is right here. I mean, you cannot let this offense keep going. You've got an out. You've got a man on first base. Roll, roll two. Here's the pitch. Great one. No pitch is a slide. Swung on and missed. One and one. He sends this one in the air towards center. Now it's two down. And it's Howell Battle trying to get here. Just one for three thus far. Hit in the air to center field. And that one's put away to retire the side. Seven pitches and it's done. That's how you save your arm and go deep into a game. And we'll see the angel. Look at ahead. Six, seven, eight. They're due up. Six slide up at the plate again. Now, Gary, I think you're losing a little something here. I don't think this guy's nearly as solid defensively as the one he's replacing, so interesting move. On the ground to third, Molitor. Throw one to first in time. Second base, four, Bobby Sprig. It's going to be Gritch. He singled his last trip. The pitch. The swing fly ball to left center field. This one into the alleyway. Should be extra bases. He's going to try to stretch it. He'll hold there at second. Base, credit him with a double. Well, a good piece of hitting and great piece of base running right there, Gary. I wasn't sure he was going to make it, but now he's on second. That's a great asset right there to be able to exploit opportunities offensively, and that's what he's done. And credit the base coach for knowing where the players were positioned on the field to allow him to get in there. There's shortstop in the box. We'll try it again here. Just one for three thus far. Here's the first pitch. First pitch is a changeup. Looked at 0 and 1. What an outstanding pitch! Changing speeds, hitting your spots. Throw that changeup away. Ball oh, and he lays off the fastball. Good pitch. 1 and 1. Pops him up and way up there. He catches that, and that's out number two. It's going to be Boone. Two for three thus far. Runner on second and two outs. And the first pitch. Watches that fastball. That goes by him for a strike. The pitcher showing that he can effectively throw strikes on the inside part of the plate. The hitter now has to make an adjustment, possibly opening up for that pitch next time. Here's the delivery. Line towards third wow. and foul. Ball. Good slurve that time, but it's called a ball, one and two. Now, when he's behind in the count, he's just not a good fastball hitter, so I expect him to attack him with the fastball. The 1-2 one, on its way. Two and two. High for a ball. 2-2. Two two. At 2-2, two, two, he's just looking to spoil. He's going to be defensive, but he's going up there hacking. Let's see if he can get him to chase a pitch out of the zone. Slurve in there, side retired on a call, strike three. 
They pick up no runs on one hit and leave a man at second. Brewers still enjoying this lead. We're we looking at the leadoff batter later on in this inning, another Number A.B. 16. Edwards is the batter. He'll start things off, bottom half, eighth inning. And he watches the outside pitch from Sanchez for a ball. One on the way. This is the inside corner that time, 2-0. Well, that pitch just took off right there and exploded out of the pitcher's hand. Kept it just a little bit inside, though. Tough pitch to hit. Good job by the hitter to lay off. Now here's a grounder towards the hole. And he'll scramble, taking himself to the out. Oh, what a play. Great diving stop, and he finds a way to get the out. You get in trouble when you just throw the ball around the infield. If you don't have to do it, get the out the easy way. Number nine spot up the plate again. He singled and later scored in his last time up. First pitch on the way. Line drive fouled oh. off towards first. Here's the pitch. This is swung on, lifted to deep right field. As he drops back for it and puts it away. Number four, Paul Molitor. And Molitor's in the box. Three for four thus far. And the first pitch. Oh. No luck that time for Sanchez as he misses inside. Well, they need a shutout, shutout inning right here to get back in there and score some runs. At least looking like they got a chance to get through it without giving up some runs. The pitch. Swing liner back up the middle. And it gets down. Hit after hit. They just keep on coming. He's got four today. Well, he just continues to swing a hot bat in this one. Is that four hits for him now? Yes, it is. And we're going to see Yelp now. Had a home run back in the sixth. Here's the first pitch. And he swings and hits this one foul. No balls, one strike. Sanchez. Tremendous situation now from Milwaukee. Well, he's had a heck of a day so far. It's his third hit of the game in this one. They just can't seem to find an answer for him. Cooper is the batter. He bounced out his last time. He homered earlier in the ball game. Two men on and two men out. That's a foul ball. Here it comes. A sinker misses. One and one. First and second occupied with two outs. Boy, does he need to make a pitch right here, Gary. Try to get out of this inning and put a zero up on the board. Swung on, hit in the air to right center. And it drops the base hit. And he scores from second base. Well, they just can't figure out a way to get this guy out. That's now four hits for him in this game. Simmons is batting. Well, this may be one of those games where everybody comes to the plate and everybody gets on. Now, Gary, as you can see, this offense just keeps on rolling, keeps on producing. 
Why don't you keep on rolling, Gary? And in this game, there's no such thing as piling on. You want to carry over. If you're hot now, keep it going. Here's the first pitch. Hit sharply towards the hole. That's down. Runner could come home. He talked about a guy who's wearing out the opposition. That's a four hit day for him. He is locked in. Up again now, the number five spot. Now, definitely not an overstatement to say this offense may not be stoppable today. Gary, I mean, with that hit right there, I mean, they're just pouring gasoline on the fire right now. Somebody's got to have a hole. First pitch on the way. Liner towards the hole. And he throws on to first. That'll retire the side. So they pick up four hits in the inning and two runs across. Milwaukee continues a blow. -up. Downing in the box. He's had one hit four times up. And the first pitch. Put something off, and it swung on and missed, 0-1. Well, a non-save situation right here in the ninth inning, and they just want to get outs right now. Try to get the first out of the inning. Take away hope as the other team needs to score a bunch of runs. You get an out, you can really deflate them. Fastball swung on, can't make contact, and behind on the count, 0-2. Credit the catcher on that one. That's a good low target setting up, and he hit the target. Good execution. Smack that one. Long fly ball, but it's a foul to the left. Oh! He swings. It's a ball to right field. That's one down. As if, uh, you know, win it big right now. You just want to go out there, make plays, throw strikes, force them to try to put multiple hits together to get back into this game. Peru has a turn in the box. Grounded out last time. Here's the first pitch. Lined up the middle. And that gets through for a base hit. But Gary, that's how you hit the changeup. You have to be patient. You have to stay back and let the ball come to you. Doesn't try to do too much with it and picks himself up on the base hit. And it's Reggie Jackson at the plate. Here we go. Here's the first pitch. There's a swing and a liner. That's the second out of the inning. Lynn at the plate. Drove in a run earlier in the game. and a man on first and the first pitch and that one is a fly ball this could do it and you just saw it folks that's going to be the last play of this game but Gary Milwaukee wins this one handling so many things going away right. a great team victory and it's that time at our broadcast where we bestow upon some lucky winner the player of the game on or there's some days when you are so locked in and focused at the plate that you want the game to continue on throughout the night. But because you know it's not going to be every day that you're in a zone like this, you better take advantage, and that's what this hitter did. Four big hits in this game, and one of them just happened to leave the ballpark for good measure. And Steve, it seemed like they knew from the get-go they had it. This was going to be their day, and they were right. Uh, you and I like the close games just because there's a little more intrigue for all nine innings, but the hometown fans, 
appreciate the offensive explosion and the big win. Well, that time again, thanks for being with us today, Major League Baseball. For Steve Phillips, John Crock, and the rest of our great 2K sports crew, I'm Gary Thorne. Thanks, everybody.